Hello! Welcome to Zotero Collecting References. Your Zotero library is a little like an email inbox. You can create folders called collections, you can tag items, and you can open up each item to show more information and any attachments that it might have. Everything in your library is visible if you click on My Library but it's likely you'll want to have some folders to help you see what's relevant to a particular topic or course. I also recommend that everyone have a temporary folder, or name it maybe something like an inbox folder. This is where all your new references will go before they get cleaned and sorted into their permanent locations. This is so important because, like any other computer system that is trying to connect a bunch of websites and digital systems, there's simply no way that every record you collect will come across perfectly. You'll have to check everything you collect, so it's a good idea to have an easy way to see what still needs to be checked. So let's get started. Let's create a collection. You can create a new collection by clicking on the yellow Collections icon and give your collection a name. If you want to create a subcollection, right-click on your collection and click New Subcollection. Give it a name. Now you have a collection and a subcollection. Now let's put some items into your collection. We do that, for the most part, using the browser connector. In your browser, if you've installed the browser connector at zotero.org download, you'll have an icon. This icon will change depending on what Zotero thinks you're looking at. Right now it thinks I'm looking at a result list, and so it's showing me a folder. You can click on the folder and then say which items from the result list you want to have included in your collection. Zotero will do its best to find all the information as well as any files, such as PDFs, that it can find. If you're on a single file, Zotero will change its icon to look like what it thinks you're seeing. In this case, it thinks I'm looking at a video, so it's showing me a camera lens. In this case, it thinks I'm looking at an article, and so it's showing me an article and it's doing its best, and it found the PDF. You'll notice that whatever folder you have open in Zotero, that's the folder where your new items will go. So I always click into my temporary folder before I start doing my research for the day. In addition to using the browser connector, you can also drag a PDF into Zotero. It will then do its best to find information about that article. Oh look, it found a bunch of information. I'm going to want to edit this because I don't want things to be in all caps, but at least I don't have to start from scratch. Sometimes you'll pull a PDF into Zotero and it won't be able to find any article information. In this case, you can right-click on the item and say Create Parent Item. Now you can tell it what type of item this is, in this case a journal article, and you can begin typing in title, author, etc. etc. Now you'll be able to cite this in your papers. You can also add items manually. Let's say you're reading an article and you come across something in its bibliography and you'd like to add it to your Zotero collection. Simply click on the green plus sign and tell it what kind of item you'd like to add. Then you can start typing and you'll be able to use this item in your papers. Let's say you have an item that does not have a PDF and you'd like to attach the PDF. If you've configured Zotero using our setup instructions, you'll be able to use Library Lookup. This acts like the Find It button. And in this case, it turns out we don't have the full text through the library, but you can get it through Interlibrary Loan. Once that Interlibrary Loan comes, you'll be able to take the PDF that you received and drag it onto your Zotero collection. Now the PDF is attached to your article information. I mentioned before that you're going to want to clean up everything that you collect. This is because Zotero looks around the web page to find things that it thinks are titles, publication dates, etc., and it sucks those into your library. But it can only be as good as the coding on the website lets it, and if the website did something like have a title be in all caps, then all caps is what you'll get in your library. So it's important to go through everything you collect and check that Zotero could figure out accurately what kind of item it is, and that it found and formatted the information correctly. The most common things you'll have to fix are changing the item type. Sometimes it'll come across as a web page when it's actually a, a book or an encyclopedia article, and you'll want to change that there so that the citation will configure correctly. 
Oftentimes, you'll find things that came across in all caps. At this point, you'll need to retype those using regular sentence case. Often, though not in this case, there's an extra space in front of the colon that comes before a subtitle. This would be a good thing to remove. And as always, if you have questions or want help, please contact us. We're here to help.